Top story tonight after high profile scandals. Maricopa County Attorney Alistair Adell is stepping down. Adell facing multiple state bar investigations and in the last year dealing with sobriety issues. So here's what we know so far. Adell will officially step down on Friday. The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors already accepting her letter of resignation. So who will fill her spot? In an emergency public meeting, board members said it will be decided in the August primary election. The candidate filing deadline is April 4th. Candidates, no matter political party, can apply. ABC 15 investigator Dave Biskabing on this story from the start. And he's joining us live in studio. Dave, what are you learning? Well, right now we don't have a clear answer about why Alistair Adele quit today. But in our reporting over the past year, it became more and more clear that she couldn't stay in her job. Now, Adele lost not only the trust and confidence of the community, but also her own staff. Most people have heard at least some of the scandals and problems under Adele false gang charges against protesters. She kept her stay in out-of-state rehab a secret from other county leaders. Her top staff lost confidence and asked her to quit. She hired a judge to prosecute death penalty cases who is under judicial investigation, and MCIO had to recently drop 100 in misdemeanor cases for missing filing deadlines. Now, Adele rarely spoke to reporters or, or addressed the public about the problems in her office. She only agreed to one interview with me throughout her tenure. And it was the only opportunity anyone had to ask direct questions about how her office framed police protesters. And looking back at that interview, some community leaders found it to be a telling example of a leader lacking awareness, responsibility, and accountability. What I, what I actually also wanted to bring up to you was, you know, you've, you've done a lot of really great reporting on the protest cases. And I have to believe that there's a way to turn this into something where we can get people information about how to peacefully protest. Um, and so perhaps there's a way that we, we could work together in the future on that because it's, I it's think not, that's it's an no, opportunity. No, no, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna participate with your office in any way that's beyond ethical or appropriate, especially given what's happened in this case. That's trying to spin something that was very corrupt and make it something positive. We won't be a part of that. Now that's how that interview ended. As the pressure grew throughout the past and coming months, Adele has always said she would not resign. So why now? What changed today? Well, that question still remains. Now in a statement, Adele didn't give a reason. Instead, she thanked the voters and said her time as county attorney is something she'll cherish. Both supporters and critics weighing in on Alistair Riddell's resignation announcement, agreeing it's what's best for her sobriety and what's best for justice in the county. Here's ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius. I think it was a shocker to everybody because she had been so adamant that she wasn't going to resign. Former Maricopa County attorney Rick Romley had previously endorsed Alistair Adell, but his support waned into calls for her resignation in recent weeks. I hope she gets her life back together again, not just for herself, but for her family. But I think it was the right decision. Others weighing in. Governor Doug Ducey tweeting Maricopa County Attorney Alistair Adell made a difficult, brave, and very personal decision. Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone issuing a statement saying, County Attorney Adele's actions today are significant as individuals and as elected officials. Our responsibility is to effectively meet the needs of the people we serve. Although we are human and make mistakes, we must be committed to accountability of our duties. Romley recommends Adele's successor should focus on rebuilding confidence in the office, turning around staffing losses and catching up on growing piles of cases that have gone unprosecuted. This is not going to be an easy task. It's not going to happen overnight, but the public needs to know that everybody's going to give 120%. In Phoenix, I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. And be sure to stay with ABC 15 for continuing coverage on the news of Alistair Adele resigning on Friday. We'll bring you the latest developments on air at ABC15.com and on the free ABC 15 app.